What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So we are three for three on the Jasmine Coin videos today, and I decided that I would make this video because I'm seeing some things that are out here, especially in my in my chats. There were a couple of people that came through and talked about Jasmine Coin that were saying, "Hey, you know, this was a rug." I don't know if people understand the definition of a rug. Now I've made this video before, but it does, you know, fly under the radar and I tell people to go back to it, but they don't. So if I make a newer video, then they see this video and they see the full breakdown as to why it was not. Um, but I want to go through one Jasmine coin, a little bit of an update, obviously, and also give you an understanding of what is a rug and what isn't a rug. So guys, if you could make sure you hit the like button, Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, make sure you guys check out those links as well. There's a, a few links down there for my other channels and referral links and stuff if you guys are interested in signing up for, for any of those different platforms like KuCoin or Crypto.com or anything like that. But let's talk about um, rug pools for a second. Um, so I don't know if people understand what the definition of a rug pull is, right? When you think about what, what the image is for a rug pull, it would mean that whoever put the rug down, right? Let's say you, you have a house, somebody put a rug down and um, you have, uh, let's say a hole right below that rug. Everybody's sitting on this rug. Uh, all these investors are sitting on this rug, but the person who put the rug down didn't tell anybody that there was a hole there. Well, now what they're going to do is they're going to yank that rug out from under them, and then they're going to fall into that hole. That's essentially what that picture of a rug pull is, and that's exactly what you would see with the cryptocurrency. But let's let's show you um, and explain kind of what a rug pull would be there, not just from an, an image perspective, but also um, you know, seeing that from a crypto perspective, right? Um, so for cryptocurrency, you have liquidity that's put into different projects. And with that liquidity, people put money in there or back it with some form of cash. Um, now that cash could be Ethereum, it could be BNB, it could be anything within any chain. Um, and you're backing it with these certain projects. Like if you go over to um, PancakeSwap, you can add your own liquidity to certain positions. So you can go to whatever other position and start adding liquidity by having a certain amount of that coin and having a certain amount of the coin that you want to back it with. So whether it's Ethereum or anything like that or BNB, you can back it with that. Um, now you're establishing liquidity. So if somebody else takes the liquidity, whatever they have, it may decrease in price, but you still have liquidity established. Now, what this essentially is with, with a rug pull is that the creator um, or devs will start by having various liquidity pools, whether it's one or five, and they will uh, fill that liquidity pool with a lot of other cryptocurrency and say, this new cryptocurrency is backed by 180 ETH, or this new cryptocurrency is backed by 1000 ETH, right? And it shows what the value is from, from the bottom so that as you add to more liquidity, it creates strength and creates more of a uh, price potential and a higher floor for the price. Now, essentially what a rug pull is, is where those same people will take all that liquidity and it will be easily accessible for them and they will pull it all out, uh, bankrupting all the investors or at least dropping it all the way down to basically zero. Now, if we take a look at um, Squid Game Coin, which is one of the coins that has uh, actually rug pulled. This is what a rug pull looks like, where the price goes insanely high for a long period of time and then just falls down heavy. I mean, everything is pulled out. That's what a rug pull looks like, and there's plenty others that are out there. Um, Jasmine coin is not that. Now, when you do look at Jasmine coin, there are some people that will claim that as you look at the total amount there, you look at all history, you see that it has gone all the way up to $4 and dropped all the way down to less than a cent. So 99%, you're like, hey, this is a rug pool, get out of this position. I'm, you know, you should never invest into this position, all of this other stuff. Well, there's more to it than that. There's a difference between something that is completely pulled or something that is heavily diluted. 
Now, there's a lot of plays out there that eventually will be heavily diluted. Uh, a ton that come to mind right now will be a lot of metaverse tokens, um, a lot of AI tokens. Um, and those are because they get they get used and they get introduced as people sign up or people go to those different places. So as you introduce more coins, the whole entire market gets diluted. Does that make sense? So if you have 5% of the supply that's out there, as you add coins, it gets diluted. Now, um, there also are some that will dilute positions and not do anything else after that, which would be considered a rug pull. So um, you're basically just trying to drive the price up as high as possible, introduce those coins and sell all of those coins. That's not what happened here, because if they did that, then it would lose a ton of value being at like $1 million market cap versus $200 million market cap. And it also was even at a higher market cap, you know, seeing this at double what this was, you know, at about a $400 uh, million market cap. So it's not something that has been rug pulled. It's never been a rug pull. And it's just something that has been diluted. And as I look at it as an investor, I see the opportunity in something that has already been diluted versus something that has the chance to be diluted. So you have to understand the difference there. And once you understand the difference, then you'll be able to um, understand what Jasmine's potential is and where it will go. So people calling in a rug pull, it is not that. You need to understand the difference between something that actually is a rug pull and something that has dilution for a good reason and will eventually see not only the all-time highs that we've seen of a $1.2 billion market cap or whatever, but to see it at a uh, 200, or sorry, not 200, $2 billion market cap, $20 billion market cap, $50 billion market cap, uh, depending on what you see within the sector. So um, that's what I have for you guys today. Hopefully that was a better breakdown than the first one. And it was also a um, a breakdown that you can, you know, everyone can understand. So uh, let me know if you didn't understand it, if you have any other questions to it, or if you want to put your opinion in there as well, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, those links are also in the description. Um, but uh, like I said, Jasmine Coin. This is the third video. I'm um, I'm excited for what Jasmine Coin can do, but only time will tell. So I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.